Welcome to Workshop Topics. This is reviewing a Lin Tools 100mm quick release DRO, which is short for Digital Readout. Before I start the review, I'd just like to say I have nothing to do with this company called Lin Tools. This clip shows the delivery note. I bought it via eBay for £52.85. And within a few days, my postman knocked on the door and gave me this package. And when I opened the box, as well as the delivery note, I found this inside. It is a Lintools 100mm DRO. It needs a battery to make it work. It uses the usual 2032 batteries and I thought I would treat it to a good quality one. Because in my handheld digital caliper, the batteries flatten quickly. Before fitting the battery, don't forget to remove the label. This is the side of the battery that goes into the holder first. The unit immediately bursts into life, which is always a good sign, so I think it's time to have a closer look. You may be thinking, why did I buy the 100mm version of this tool? They are available in longer lengths, but I want this for my Myford ML7R lathe, and this will work just fine. These tools are lathe specific, you need to buy the one for the lathe you want to use it on. Fitting it to the lathe is incredibly simple. A robust plastic clamp holds the display against the lathe bed. And there's a large plastic knob on the clamp bolt, which makes it very easy to clamp the unit or unclamp it from the lathe. And the part that travels to make the system work is held to the saddle by a magnet, probably a neodymium magnet because it's very strong. There's also a magnet at the other end which allows for fitting the DRO at the other side of the saddle, in case you need to do some precision work further away from the chuck. At first I didn't like the look of this clamp, it looked a little bit 3D printed, but it's robust enough and it does what it's supposed to do. It holds the DRO in place on the lathe bed, and when everything is in place it doesn't wobble about, and the whole unit is very stable. I especially like the idea of the powerful magnet, it's going to make removing this unit very quick. Note to self, try not to put oily finger marks on the parts that you're reviewing. Here I'm going to demonstrate just how powerful the magnet is. Watch this. Time to see if it works. I've put a random piece of brass in the chuck and the first thing I'm doing is facing across the front of the piece of brass. Once I've done that, without moving the tool, I press the zero button on the front of the unit. First of all I clumsily move the hand wheel, then I put it in auto travis. I set it in thou first because that's what I'm used to working in. I turn the brass for a distance of quarter of an inch or 6.35 millimeters. Now I'm going to turn the piece of brass to the half inch point. For most of the cut I'm using the auto travis system on the lathe, but when I get close to 500 I disconnect the auto and turn the wheel manually for the last bit. I thought this was going to be quite a fiddly job, but by looking at the DRO and turning the hand wheel, it soon read half an inch. Normally to do this, I would use a ruler as shown here, which to be fair is the way I've done it for many years and it's accurate enough for most of the jobs that I need to do. But now with this small DRO, I can be even more accurate. What's good about this small DRO that never really dawned on me was you just move it on the lathe to the part of the work that you're turning. Because at any time you can reset zero by pressing the zero button. So far I'm quite happy with this and provided that it doesn't malfunction I think I'll buy one for my Boxford lathe too. I really would like a two or three axis DRO just like the one I was using when I made the video series for Myford Limited. But for the type of work I do, it would be a bit of a waste. And as I've mentioned many times, I'm not a proper engineer. I just have a lot of common sense. Here I'm just messing about starting and stopping a cut to see what happens. And yes, the DRO doesn't vibrate loose and it carries on where I left off. And once again the display on the unit is reading 0.500, which is half an inch. This plastic knob has a really good feel to it, and it is so simple to remove the unit. For the money, I cannot fault this. Time will tell as to whether it continues to work, but I'm sure it will. It's a good looking unit, well made, 
and it's easy to store away. But most importantly, it seems to work very well. To repeat what I said at the beginning of this video, I have no connection whatsoever with Lin Tools. I paid for the unit, it isn't a sponsorship deal, and it's a great thing. There's not a lot more that I can say about this, in fact I think I will buy another one for my Boxford lathe. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope that you found this review useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainstream Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.